Hi, I'm Lionel Robbins. Uh, in the YMCA circles, I'm known as Lionel the Bus Driver. Uh, I was born in 1972, Whitecourt, Alberta, and a bit of an army brat kind of uh, life back then. Uh, we had to move where the work was, so lots of new towns, lots of new schools, lots of new friends, but we didn't have a whole lot. It was a little tough growing up then. Uh, but I don't really have any bad memories or get angry about it. I, I, I'd like to think a lot of the uh, experiences I had were what helped mold me into the person I am today. My name is Raphael Bowman. I'm currently the Chief Marketing Officer with Revolution Auto Group. A little backstory on me, I grew up in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. With growing up in Saskatoon, my, my dad and my brothers and I would always go on Sunday evenings to this lad and dad swim, it was called. And so Sunday evenings we'd, we'd pack up and we'd go to the YMCA pool and, and we'd swim and I really looked forward to that my whole week long was this lad and dad swim on Sunday evenings at the YMCA. So the bus has kind of a funny story on how it began. Uh, a friend of mine joined the YMCA organization and was telling me about this great after school program where they were taking uh, a bunch of the kids to you know, the swimming pool, the tube park, whatever, just to give them some cool, fun kid experiences. But they were using taxis, which meant a lot more volunteers, a lot more expense costs, and they were just running out of volunteers and, and running out of ways to, uh, to afford it. So they heard we had this, this cool bus that we had obtained through one of our dealerships. They said, do you mind if we use it for a couple weeks until we find a more permanent solution? Well, so that Friday I showed up and uh, decided to be the bus driver the first week and I, I never looked back. I mean, I had such a great experience and the kids were so awesome that when they, they started talking about a permanent experience, I said, well, uh, how about this? And uh, for the last uh, three or four years now, we've been, we've been running around every Friday afternoon and uh, Lionel the bus driver and my good friend uh, Raf the bus driver are all, all part of the team and uh, we're happy to do it for now and the foreseeable future. It didn't take me long to realize that these kids we were driving around we're pretty special kids. Getting to know these kids and, and learning a little bit about their lot in life was, it was really easy to keep going and, and, and try to make just a little bit of a positive difference in their lives. Well, I volunteer because I, I like to help out the kids. I, I like to think I was a YMCA kid. Of course, a lot of the places I grew up didn't have a YMCA, but I was that kid that probably would have been waiting on the corner for, for a bus ride to a swimming pool or a tube park or something like that. And uh, you know what, I really like seeing the smiling, eager faces. Uh, one of the most rewarding things of volunteering with the bus is at the end of the year, they ask uh, the kids what their favorite part of the program was. And uh, a, a strong majority of them every year say the actual bus ride, not where we got to, not the tubing, not the swimming pools, uh, the actual riding on the bus, you know, the uh, loud, obnoxious sing-alongs with the uh, current tunes cranking on the stereo and uh, you know the uh, the yogurt party, uh, frozen yogurt party at the end of the year while we turn the music up enough that the whole bus is shaking while we eat our yogurt and and uh, just all that fun stuff. It's good to give kids a smile on their face and really make them uh, kind of feel special and like VIPs. Going to the Y after school gives them the opportunity to do extra studying. They get a little bit of extra reading and extra help with their homework other than what they get at home. When they come home from the YMCA they're excited to tell us about all their new adventures and all the crafts they've done and the people they get to hang out with. She loves the field trips. <laughs> she loves going on the field trips. She's done so much. She's been to the museum. She's done um, rock climbing. She loves doing stuff like that. Hillside just loves YMCA. It relieves a lot of stress uh, from our families for after school care and it helps with the social, emotional and physical development of our students. There's tremendous growth in them. Um, it also helps with their reading and writing academic skills and they have a lot of fun after school in the YMCA program. I guess if we're trying to portray a message to these kids it's uh, you know not not to limit yourself. I mean uh, I do a lot of business talks now and one of my favorite sayings is I come from a family that for years didn't own a vehicle and now I own car dealerships so you know we're always trying to be inspirational uh, with our company that we don't come from you know rich backgrounds or anything and we were able to build up you know a very successful enterprise and you know that these kids should be looking at themselves as future CEOs and doctors and dentists and lawyers and, and what have you and not limiting themselves because uh, they feel that they have a certain station in life. I think it's really cool that the YMCA actually gets to go on a party bus not and they don't have to go on a regular bus. It's better than a regular bus because a regular bus is a bit boring. Um, it's fun. I mean, they actually let you play music and stuff on it, and it's really cool. It's better than a normal bus. So the message I think we're trying to portray to the youth is, 
you all matter, you all are significant, and don't feel otherwise because I feel that sometimes these kids feel a little left out and you matter.